Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Newcastle. Delighted as always to be joined by Mr. Mark Dickinson. Mark, you look in tremendous shape. You look bang on weight, man. You look like you're ready to rock already. Ready to rock and roll. Um, just fully focused on uh, Saturday night now. So obviously got the weigh-in tomorrow. Press conference today. Once that's done, then it's just time to chill and um, get ready. Down to business, as they say, against Grant Dennis. Now listen, I was, I've watched Grant Dennis in a couple of his fights. He's way more experienced here. You might have the arm exp experience, and that, you know yourself now, you've been in the pro game for, what, four or five fights now, that it's a different sport. It's a different way the approach the game is different. Now Grant Dennis, he's been there in the pro ranks. He's fought very good fighters, although he might have lost against these good fighters in Kevin Ajago and Danny Dignam. He's still been there and he's tested. What kind of Grant Dennis do you expect on Saturday night? Um, yeah, so you say it's a different game than the, uh, than the amateur game, but I also think it's a, uh, it's a young man's game. Mm. And um, I'm young, I'm fresh, and um, I've put the work in and I'm ready to go. So on Saturday night, you'll, you'll see what I'm all about. I was in Dublin when he fought Kevin Ajago, and he, and he put up a. He, Kevin hit him with some good shots, so he knows how to stick around. So you've been in there with a tough opponent. Your last opponent was quite tough as well. I think that was about a weight above, was it not? So you've been there, you've done it, you've, you've fought the good round, you've went the distance in these eight rounders and all that. So that being said, what kind of statement are you going to put on on Saturday night? Do you want that big knockout statement to show that you're ready for these major titles going into 2024? To be honest with you, a few people keep mentioning Kevin and Jarko's name to us um, and that he's boxed him, but I'm not comparing myself to his performance. We're two different fighters. I'm my own man and um, I'm ready to do my job on um, on Grand Dennis. Uh, I don't need to worry about what anyone else is doing or what's happened then or what's happened, then, um, what's happened in the past. Um, I'm just ready for Saturday night. I'm ready to... Um, be the best Mark Dickinson uh, I can be and um, I'm not really too worried about what Grand Dennis is doing I'll worry about what I'm doing and he can worry about what I'm doing like I said to you you've been in the North East for uh, you've been home for a long time now you're just where you you've born and raised you're fighting out of here you're training here and um, what can the fans expect from you obviously we know this I said about the statement there but what can the fans expect from you, yourself on Saturday night um, a good performance um, obviously my first 10 rounder I'm going to show that I'm ready f to do the long stretch of the rounds and um, no I've trained really 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 hard for this so I'm ready well, 10 rounders when, when people start getting into the 10 rounders you start getting into those title fights because that's, that's, that's the minor titles Commonwealth titles British titles um, whatever you want what's it called the, the Northern Area title whatever you want to call it um, these are the, you start talking about them when you get into 10 rounders going into 2024 are you ready for these maybe a couple more fights and then you, are you ready for these sort of British Commonwealth Northern area titles um, well this is an eliminator for the English so as long as I get my job done on Saturday night then the English title is um, what I'll be focused on next but if I don't win this fight then there's no English title so I've got to be fully focused on Saturday night the good thing about the North East as well like, I'm looking around you look at all the town you've got Cameron Vaughan Cameron French there you've got the Reese brothers you've got yourself you know what I mean you've got an absolutely plethora of talented young fighters so when Lewis Ritson was there it was like Lewis Ritson all by himself with all that pressure we've had it with Ricky Burns in Scotland and Josh Taylor in Scotland it's just not one fighter but you seem like with yourself you're ready to conquer the world but you've got a lot of young fighters from the North East yeah, with you along the way yeah obviously uh, good soccer talent coming through in the North East and um, we'll, uh, it's good because we can all be competitive and bounce off each other and um, try and steal the show which should make the shows more exciting for the fans coming to watch I've got to ask one more question then why has the North East had this sort of resurgence of fighters I mean like I said to you I'm looking around there's, there's talented young fighters everywhere that can all fight and they like a scrap what, what's made this uh, this re-emergence of North East boxing what's happened that's got all these young fighters coming through We've just been kept in the dark and the amateurs for a lot of years, I think. Look, we've been around the world fighting in sports halls against killers and that, um, which no one cares about, boxing away in the GB team and whatever, and uh, earning our stripes out there. So I think now we're getting put on the big stage and that people are just starting to realise. And listen, I'm looking forward to it. The talent is absolutely fabulous on Saturday night and you're one of them. You're one to work out, look out for us. I can't wait for it, Mark. So good luck. Cheers, mate. Thank you.